Hey there, this is Quang DX from Asobi Tech, and today we're doing an unboxing and we've got the Coleco Telstar Arcade. Um, this is part of the Telstar series that Coleco are doing, a bunch of gaming uh, Pong clones, um, but this is the only one they have which has interchangeable cartridges. Um, so I managed to get hold of this, been looking for one of these for quite a while, and um, this is new old stock, so it's never been opened before. Um, let's open it. All right, so yeah, so tape on both sides look like really old cell tape. It's all yellowed. I bet I'm not gonna cut it open. Hopefully opening it is gonna be very straight away. Um, just like driving your car off the parking lot. But you know what? Consoles were made to be played with. So don't open it, you won't be able to play it. There you go. Alright, let's have a look. So this was made for 1977, I said, so uh, an era when wood panelling and um, cardboard was all the rage, apparently. So let's see if we can get this out. Um, it's quite a tight fit, it looks like. So, it's a bit of an odd console in that it's a triangle shape. Uh, the cartridge is a triangle as well. And uh, it has three input methods. There's a light gun, a steering wheel, and dials. Uh, so the game came comes with has a road race. This is the steering wheel. Uh, oh, and a guess just two. Uh, quick draw. It's a light gun game and tennis, which would be I guess pong with the dials over there. The question is, can I get this out of the box? Uh, also, it's quite like snug fit. Shouting at me right now for uh, shaking it, trying to get it out of the box. Let's see, okay, got a packet here. Uh, looks like a bunch of accessories and stuff. That looks like the holster, the gun goes in. That's the gear shift knob. Um, I'm sure those are other bits to go with it, maybe. Oh, they've got feet, yeah. Feet, and a registration card, and an RF switch. So, yeah, um, can you see that? Gun holster. Uh, okay, shift knob, and bits. Okay, we've got the left gun here. I like how in the old days you could actually get away with a gun being re quite realistic. Uh, well, obviously it's plastic, so not realistic at all, but... Oh, it's got recoil now. It's Clico Industries on the side, made in Hong Kong, patent pending. But yeah, you can get away with that, but now they have these bright blue or uh, have orange tip on the end. So, yeah, I wouldn't suggest walking around in the streets with holding one of these. Alright. Let's put that up there. And carry on trying to get this out of the box. There we go. Let's put the box up the side here. Alright, that's what we've got here. Um, we've got the steering wheel. Uh, it's come with a 9 volt adapter from Telstar. Of all Coleco video sports games. So, uh, it says input 117 volts, 60 hertz, output 9 volts DC, and 200 milliamps. No, 200 milliamps, so not too much power on that one. Um, but interestingly, the input is 117 volts, which uh, if I remember correctly, you might run on 110 volts. Uh, yeah, it's a standard power supply. It's got the 2.5mm jack style power tip. Uh, using the, the, I believe the Atari 2600 and uh, other models. Uh, here's the manual. Guide number 58024C. It's nice to put it into a triangle shape. Um, inside. 
see this uh, inside it tells you where the little bits are, the little feet are alright, steering wheel, uh, gear shift and then a holster, power adapter, how to set up the uh, AV, and uh, how to put the cartridge in, there's the cartridge release on top of there, and so forth. Um, that's how it looks at each side, that's what each side does. Um, looks like these are some of the other games you can get. Side games. Uh, some instructions for the games. Uh, one quick draw. Uh, troubleshooting guides, so what happens if you have no screen, blah blah blah, or power, take care of the cartridge, and on the back there's a limited warranty. Alright, uh, so pull out the market machine in, so it's underneath this card a little bit. The triangle for the I think everything's quite triangle based. Uh, so it's pushing. Whoa, look at this. Take the fake wood paneling, looks like it's just a sticker. It goes around there. Uh, there's a cartridge on the top there. Let's put the cartridge out. And then 10 hour cables um, is hardwired in. So that's the cartridge. It's quite weight, it's like a fake plastic painted like silver. Um, but the heavy thing is the contacts are just not actually pins, they're just uh, this one. Just tracks. Um, yeah, and they line up to there. So let's put that back in. Uh, let's attach the steel. Let's cross this down over here. Uh, inside, there's another piece of triangle pearl styrene and the cardboard inlay. Alright, so, yeah, steering wheel. It's got a soft grommet there. These squeeze together and we'll keep into there, it looks like. Uh, so, on the back, it's got the wide one and the short one. You know, I'm double check the manual because I don't want to mess this up. Now that I do this, um, doesn't say it doesn't matter which way it goes. It's like it's just plugged in. All right. There we go. Just narrow. Oh, so it's gone. So what's that? From there, to there about 270, and 270 degrees of rotation there. Isn't too bad. Um, so this bag with the accessories in it is still sealed. Oh, we have to open it, it means. Okay. Uh, let's open it. The holster. Uh, holster goes in there. Looks like uh, it takes two screws on there as well. Got a gear shift knob, put it on there. It also takes a screw, looks like. Oh, it's Colin. I say hello to Colin, everyone. <laughs> uh, let's look at this colors. Clip on there, I see, yeah, put that in there. And there's a spring clip on there. I'm going to make it latch on. There you go. Um, and the rest are uh, feet and stickers. There's a Clico badge in there. So I'm assuming, oh, because I'm on the steering wheel. Alright, so the holes in the gun. I'm going to put the screws in now. I'll do that later. The pistol has a one, two, three, five pinned in. 
questions in there. Interestingly, there's a uh, port here for remote. Doesn't seem to be a remote in here. Let's see what the manual says about the remote. Remote receptacle used with other cartridges. So I'm assuming at some other game. Oh, here we go. So completely missed that. In the other cartridge, you get double pong files. Um, so I guess for four player games, because there's already two dials on here. Yeah, it says on here, games tennis, tennis two player, tennis four player, hockey two player, hockey four player. So yeah, there's four player games, that's quite cool. So yeah, that's the Telstar Coleco Arcade uh, console. It's pretty cool actually, you know, quite obscure, uh, you don't see many of these around. And this one is now significantly cheaper because I've opened it. Well. Hope you enjoyed that. You stay awesome. Asobi Tech.